Okay, everybody in Whiskey World, welcome back. Thanks for watching. This week, I'm going to be trying out Mellow Corn Straight Corn Whiskey Bottled and Bond for the very first time. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this sucker cracked open for the first time. So that'll give it a chance to breathe while I'm talking about it. So what I know about Mellow Corn is that it's put out by Heaven Hill. And Heaven Hill, for the most part, is the king of like the low price whiskeys and stuff, right? So with Heaven Hill, you know, some of the favorites on there that I've had so far are gonna be the uh, Evan Williams single barrel. I did a video on that. Uh, Elijah Craig, pretty sure that's Heaven Hill. Henry McKenna, Heaven Hill, right? So these are all reasonably priced whiskeys. And uh, I think Heaven Hill might be the last like independently owned like big distillery because you know jim beam is bean centauri um jack daniels is uh brown foreman and all that so heaven hill i mean shout out to heaven hill they've been consistently putting out like value prices i wonder if maybe it's because they're independent you know they don't have like stockholder prices they have to worry about so much but anyway what i know about heaven hill and mellow corn is so this is a straight corn whiskey. Now the rules for corn whiskey say that it has to be at least 80% corn in the distillate. From what I read, this is 90% corn. It's straight. So that tells you that uh, there's no additional colors or flavors added to it, but it's also bottled and bond. So that tells you that it's four year aged, which is amazing considering the price on this. A four year age spirit for, I think this was maybe $12 or something. Now, when I saw it in there, I was thinking to myself, hey, I'm on this bourbon journey, this whiskey journey. I might as well go ahead and just go all the way. Like, you know, I don't wanna just try what people say is good. I wanna try it for myself. So when I saw this bottle, I said, okay, I'll go ahead and pick it up, see if they have anything in here that's worth going back to. The color you can see, is uh you know i guess kind of like corn interesting thing about corn whiskey is that um i guess in this case this is aged in a used bourbon barrel or whiskey barrel right so with bourbon it usually has to be first fill this is second fill so i guess because this is second fill a lot of those dark the char and stuff has been taken out so still a good deal like i said you're getting 100 proof spirit age at least four years for under twelve dollars so heaven hill coming through again i figure let's go ahead and give it a try let's go ahead and get into it oh also this has been out since 1945 so i already talked about the color color is kind of pale not sure if that's picking up well on there let's go ahead and go into the nosing okay so i'm getting some of the ethanol but I'm also getting corn, sweetness. You get the ethanol, you get the sweetness. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I don't know why, but I'm getting fruit in here, like light fruit, like maybe apple or something mixed into here. It doesn't have that, that, um, that young smell that I got with the benchmark. So I don't know. I'm not sure. This is my first corn whiskey. So I know also um, something that's popular right now is the Balcones, Balcones, you know, the true blue or the baby blue. That's a corn whiskey also. So um, I'm going to have to get, in, get into that. That's also a lot more expensive than this, but might be worth a try. Aside from that, that's all I got for now. I'm going to go ahead and get into the tasting and I'll tell you what it is I got. First time, first time ever. different pretty quick finish i feel the burn in my stomach but usually the first time you know it's like a visceral reaction so you always got to go for at least you know two different tastes that way you know your palate gets used to it so let me go for a second one here it's got a good mouthfeel 
I'm not getting like an overwhelming corn, like corn syrup. No, I'm not getting that at all. I mean, it's definitely whiskey. So I guess what this doesn't have in it is, I guess maybe it doesn't have the rye in it. But I mean, it's not super sweet though. It's, it's, it's definitely a whiskey. You know, you're having a drink. You feel that it's a hundred proof, but man, this is actually, this is actually pretty good. I mean, for price I paid. Distilled and bottled by Heaven Hill Distilleries, Bardstown, Kentucky. It's actually pretty damn good. I'm tripping on here. I'm looking, it doesn't say, I'm looking to see if there's anything else on the label. I don't see anything else. So they obviously didn't spend a lot of money on the label, which I'm cool with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, so far so good. Let me go in for one, one last, you know, one last sip. I'll give you guys a little bit of the color once more. Give you guys a little bit of the color. Okay. Yeah, it's a little. Look, man, I gotta be honest here. So it's all about having realistic expectations. So right now I can tell you for the price I paid for this, I am very happy with it. And I'm 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 drinking this neat. If this was in like, you know, with some Coke or something, yeah, I mean, come on, man. This is come on, you know. I can drink it neat. I'm not spitting it out. I don't have no ice or anything else. I mean, to me, this looks like an amazing value. I got to put it through its paces. So I would say my first reaction to this is it's a win so far. I'm cool with it so far. For the price I paid, no, it's not the best thing in the world. But for $12 or $13, show me another 100 proof whiskey that you're going to get for $12 or $13 that's also bottled in bond. I mean, you're just not going to get that. So if this is your first time to this channel, I want to tell you, thanks for coming. Thanks for using your data to check this out. I started this out on a journey into bourbon because uh, I had always drank it a lot. Drinking. I had always drunk a lot of uh, cognac and stuff like that before, and I wanted to get into bourbon. So I took a little detour from the bourbon, getting into the uh, whiskey now. And I just want to try things for myself. So. That's what I do on this channel. Usually the format is on the first video, I'll try it for the first time, like what I'm doing now. Then in like a week or two, I'll, I'll give you a long term because what I've learned is that these neck pours is what they call it when you first pour it out of here, can be misleading. As it gets more air in the bottle and it sits for a while, it may change a little bit. I got a feeling this is gonna be one of those ones that changes a little bit, but that's what I'm doing here. Please, please make sure your kids know that if you're going to be drinking spirits, it's only for 21 and over. This is grown people's business. One of the things that I like doing is I always try to get my son um, into the videos that I do. I do other videos other than whiskey. So this is more like a time capsule. So he knows that also 21 and over. But this is a way for me to get him included in some of the videos that I do in a very responsible way. That's him in the background over my shoulder. He's in virtual reality with the Oculus Quest VR. Uh, you're doing, he's doing this thing called a job simulator. So you basically act like you have a job. So he's either making something or selling it to somebody or whatever. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time on the long-term review of Mellow Corn. So far, my initial reaction is yes. Definitely worth the money that I spent so far in comparison to all the other stuff that I had. Uh, this is probably this is probably gonna go better with like mixing stuff, but I gotta you know I think I may be able to um, maybe able to season this with something because yeah I got a project that I'm working on that I might be able to use this for so that's my take on it the mellow corn I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video out.